Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green version. In the last episode, we took down the fourth and final member of the Elite Four, being Lance the Dragon Master, and he told us that we would have been Elite the champion of the Kanto region if Gary didn't take the throne a few minutes before us. So today, we're going to be taking him down now. His first Pokemon is Flying type, so I suggest you start up with Rock or Ice or Electric. We'll be there forever do. It's time. I did use a Max Ether on Nidoking as well, so all of his PP has been restored. Hey Jamie, I was looking forward to seeing you, Jamie. My, my rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokédex, I looked all all over for my Pokémon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Jamie, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. We will see about that, Gary. Here we are. Fighting our rival for the final time. Well, would be the final time if we weren't going to do the after game. <laughs> Gary, or whatever you named your rival, will start off with Pidgeot, level 59, normal flying toe Pokemon with the ability Keen Eye, with the moves, Aerial Ice, Feather Dance, Sand Attack, and Whirlwind. Honestly, this thing won't be very hard for you to take down. You know, if you've got a strong attack that's super effective against it. You know, if they're not very defensive, they have good special attack, Pidgeots, but other than that, uh, and speed, but other than that, the defenses aren't that great. There we go. He jumps down. Actually, wants out all of his Pokemon. Uh, next up is Arcanine. Now, he will not have Arcanine if you pick Charmander. And uh, I will go over each, um, you know, starter. Say which Pokemon you picked, what team you'll have as well. Um, Arcanine, level 61, Fire Type Pokemon with ability Intimidate with the moves Flamethrower, Extreme Speed, Bite, and Roar. No, this thing doesn't have the greatest moves yet, but definitely don't go in with the grass or bug type or ice type. <laughs> As Flamethrower will most likely kill you, unless maybe you've got a high level Venusaur or Victory Bell uh, that can take hits. But yeah, other than that, there it is. He got a crit last time, so uh, yeah, let's, let's go for it. Should be able to survive this, hopefully. Yep, there we go. And Arcanine's going down, so yeah, it does have the ability to intimidate, so it will lower your Pokemon's attack. So, yeah, watch out for that. But all you gotta do is switch out, and that attack drop will go. So, here is Venusaur. Now, you're gonna wanna go in for a flying or fire type of this thing. And you will only fight Venusaur if you picked Squirtle. Venusaur, level 63, Grass Poison type Pokemon with the ability Overgrow, Held item being a Citrus Berry with the moves Grow, Sunny Dice, Solar Beam, and Synthesis. Now, this thing out of all three starters is the easiest for you to take down. If you pick Charmander, you'll go up against Blastoise with the moves Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Bite, and Skull Bash. If you pick Charmander, you'll uh, actually, if you picked. Um, Bulbasaur, you'll versus Charizard, which is probably the hardest out of the three. With the moves Fire Blast, Aerial Ice, Slash, and Fire Spin. All of them having Citrus Berry and everything, but yeah. Um, if you picked, uh, you know, depending on which Pokemon you chose. So say, you know, I picked, um, oh, I did pick Squirtle. So he will not have, um, what's it called? Um, Executor, but if you pick the other two, then he will. Um, if you pick Charmander, he will not have Charizard, and will have won't have Blastoise. And if you picked Bulbasaur, oh well, he's actually switching out now. Um, he will not have Arcanine. He'll have Charizard instead. So yeah, um, those are. Um, few that switch depending on what Pokemon you chose. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely switch out here. Off the fly trap. Um, but yeah, honestly, um, this is probably the least of your worries, honestly, Rhydon. 
Uh, it's level 59, rock ground type Pokemon with the ability Lightning Rod. With the moves Rock Tomb, Takedown, Earthquake and Scary Face. Don't really know why it has the ability Lightning Rod. Um, because what, who actually uses an electric type move on the ground type? It just makes it so if it gets hit by an electric type move, it's, uh, I think it's defense gets higher. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, or his attack goes by one state. I can't remember. But yeah, here is the main threat to our team. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Oh, he's only got three Pokemon left, and one of them's half health. Alexam, level 57, Psychic type Pokemon with the ability to synchronize with the move Psychic, Reflect, Future Sight, and Recover. Now, this thing, the only thing he's actually able to do to you is Psychic. Really, the rest is kind of just, um, you know, just to annoy you, like recover, just healing itself, um, reflect making its team a little harder to kill. The future sight just makes it so it'll be hit in a few turns, but there we go. Synchronize, we, it, we used our Thunder Wave on it, but then its ability made us also paralyzed. I'm pretty sure we did have one, uh, or did we get rid of it? Actually, we might have used it. But yeah, um, definitely the best thing uh, you can do on Alexam is to paralyze it, um, because you know um, it's very fast and it hits like a truck. So try to stop it from attacking you. It can sweep your whole team. Um, thankfully, it doesn't have coal mine. That's probably why they didn't give it him. Um, you know, we're gonna go for Hurricane now. Because if we are to take a hit, um, come on her again. Let's go. Do Steel Wing. Um, Steel Wing has the chance of actually rising its attack, I believe. Uh, or defense. Yeah, it's defense. Only by one stage, but you know, it's worth it. Not versus Yalakazam, because it's a special move. There you go. And that's when it's regular damage, you know. But, like, half of our team are actually weak to Psychic. Like Toxicated, uh, Flytrap, and Bigfoot. So, yeah, this guy's pretty annoying. But we're gonna keep going for the flies. Um, I think he uses up to three full restores, or only one. I can't exactly remember. But there we go. Alexam's down. The main threat to our team, and it's gone. <laughs> awesome. Oh, he wants to learn Screech. Um. No, I'm going to go without it. It will lower the opponent's Pokemon's defense by um, two stages, but I think we could go without. As our uh, moveset's already good enough. Now we are definitely going to uh, Archetype now. Now, the only thing I'm worried about here is can Archetype live it? Um, let's give it a go. Or oh, actually, it might outspeed. But should we go for the Thunder? I want to go for the Spark. Just in case we do miss. Come on. It's four times weak. Yeah, there we go. One shot in. Also, <laughs> Gyarados, level 61. Water flying type Pokemon with the ability Hydro Pump. I mean, with the ability Intimidate with the moves Hydro Pump, Dragon Rage, Bite, and Thrash. Ah, there we go. Last Pokemon. Uh, yep, let's go for Hurricane. None of our Pokemon have fainted this whole battle. We did not need to get that high level at all. This is why I knew level 51 was high enough. Come on. All right. Solar Beam is Venusaur's only attack. The rest, like synthesis, just means it will heal itself. Sunny Day on Max or Solar Beam only uh, takes one turn to charge. It doesn't even have to charge at all. Growth just makes its special attack go higher. Oh, okay. It's using its full restore. I like this though, that he actually reversed him, uh, he started part one last. Um, should I heal? Nah, no heal challenge. <laughs> Come on. All we're gonna do is fly and it can't eat us. <laughs> oh, this is sick. <laughs> oh, alright. <laughs> Soon as we hit it now, it's gonna go for Solar Beam again. It could go for Sunny Day. Nope. <laughs> Hurricane! Oh, I think it's gonna leave it though. I feel like it's gonna. Because that's it. It's like half health after a quick attack, but it'll be gonna go. 
for his quick attack and it'll go down. Let's go for another four stop. <laughs> oh wow. The video's gonna get even longer. <laughs> Alright. What's the point? All it's doing is solar beaming, come on. Alright, if we just get a crit, it'll be over and done with. Come on. Honestly, I mean, this was the easiest out of the three. Um, but Executor's probably better than Arcanine and uh, Gyarados for him. Um, actually, I'd say Arcanine's probably the best because, you know, it's weak to the, li um, the least amount of things. Gyarados is probably the easiest because, you know, get it hit, hit it with an electric time move. It's definitely going down. Yep. So in total, he has three full restores. I could cut cut this, but you know, it's just, you know, realistically, it's the most important battle of the game. It's the decider: are you going to become the champion, or are you going to fail to do so? But we already know, you know, Hokkaido has been the little pidgey since the start of the game, and has slowly but surely gotten a lot stronger by our side and here he is <laughs> not fighting to the final Pokemon and there we go Venusaur's down we get the crit and we're gonna get a ton of experience and champion Gary is down no that can't be you beat me at my best after all that work to become the league champ our reign is over already it's not fair there we go he's down why why did I lose I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon darn it you are the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it, Jamie and Professor Oak just what the whole Elite for. What a badass. So, you've won sincerely. Congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Squirtle to work on the Pokedex. Jamie, you've come off age. Gary, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. I mean, at least he become the champion once. I mean, he's got to be pretty good at Pokemon to be able to do that. Jamie, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvellous. Jamie, come with me. Lighter, Gary. <laughs> Smell your lighter, boy. How do you feel? <laughs> <coughs> Congratulations, Jamie. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honoured with their exploits here. The Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Jamie, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Jamie. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. How many times did you just say my name? <laughs> there we go. And uh, you will be able to see my save data, maybe. Okay, never mind. Archetype, level 53. Toxicated, level 51. Bigfoot, level 51. Blaster, Chelsock, level 52. Hurricane, level 52. Flytrap, level 51. And there we go. That, what a team. They absolutely destroyed. I didn't get to use Bigfoot in the final battle, but... Honestly, that team was great. I love that team so much. That was, oh, one of the strongest teams I've had, honestly. Oh, they just destroyed everything. Level 51, and they're taking down level 63. And oh, it's just, oh, Jesus. There we go. 20, nearly 28 hours played. And here we go. Gary runs home. And Professor Oak comes out to say goodbye. And he's also going to head back home or to his lab. Does he live in the lab? Probably. And we're going to look back and we're going to skedaddle. <laughs> and there we go. We have officially beaten Pokemon Leaf Green and, uh, you know, done the main game. So, in case you're wondering. I did accidentally say it earlier on in the video, yeah. I am going to do the post game. <laughs> I'm going to do all of the three islands. And, you know, Mewtwo and 
mold traits and everything, you know, catching all the legendary Pokemon and doing everything that, you know, we haven't already done yet. Um, so yeah, honestly, 41 episodes and I've enjoyed every second of it. It's been great, honestly. This game, I've always seen Kanto as the shortest, but never seen it as like, oh, you go through it too quick. But, you know, I just love this game and this team was great. Like, their moveset, their types, like, there's a reason that Flytrap and Toxicated are both poison. You know, I don't use Toxicated for poison typing. It doesn't even have a poison type move on its moveset. But, yeah, honestly, the team's just been great, all six. Ah, <sighs> ever since I first got them, they've been great right off the get-go, like, one of the main ones in that Elite Four, like, if you have an electric type, it is going to be pretty good for you, and it's going to be a lot higher, say you go in with level 51, or, or well, your whole team are all level 51s like mine were, um, and you don't have an electric type, it's going to be a lot harder for you, but here we are, just showing the route that we did to get through the whole game really. Here we are in Celadon City and you know <laughs> just watching the credits. Um, but yeah I mean there's not much more to be said to be honest. Um, you know I'm doing the post game um, I'm going to be catching all the legendaries. Um, I don't know maybe at the end I might have like a bonus like Maybe if I get some things, but you know, I haven't really forgot much. Um, but then again, like I remember going in the game corner, and I didn't talk about the fact that you could find hidden items on the ground. Like some things I forget. Like literally, Victory Road. I went through the second part. Well, the second part of Victory Road, the second episode of that. Um, I done that on like, the 27th, and I meant to say like Merry Christmas and. Um, you know, happy Boxing Day, I guess. But, you know, I actually forgot to. And I done a video on New Year's, and I forgot to. So, Merry Christmas, Merry Boxing Day, I guess. And Happy New Year's, and Happy New Year's Eve. So, I made a video on nearly all of them. Except for Christmas and Boxing Day, but yeah. Hope you all had a great time. And, you know, here's Pig too. You alright, mate? And, you know, as soon as we get up this river, we would be back in Pallet Town, so thank you all so much for watching. And next time, we are going to be going to One Island with Bill. So if you're excited for that, let me know. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.